All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a video on how we get the grid lines in our sketch environment in Inventor 2023. So a lot of you guys like to use your grid lines when you're making sketches because it helps you with your geometry. So for example, um, I go to start a sketch and I just put it here and I've got no grid lines, okay? Uh, the way you do this is pretty simple once you know how to do it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to tools and we're going to click on the ribbon in the options part of the ribbon, um, the application settings. This window should pop up and we want to come through here until you get to the sketch tab. Now in that sketch tab, in the display properties, that's where you have to click grid lines and say you want your grid lines to be displayed. Once you've got that done, let's see here. There we go. Now we can apply it and boom, our grid lines pop up. Okay. So that's how you get them to display. Now, in order to actually set those grid lines, you need to come into the document settings tab. This is going to be the same place you change your units, but instead you're going to go into the sketch. So now um, what you want to do is you want to set some size increment that makes sense for you for your object. You could do something like five millimeters and you can, or four millimeters, that works too, four millimeters. And if I click apply, you see how the spacing just changed? So you can set these custom to what you feel like for your document. Um, if you are working in standard, I would recommend you use either quarter inches as your major or your snap spacing and then apply that and yeah five millimeters looks good to me so that's how you're going to turn on and off those grid lines now if i finish the sketch the grid lines disappear but if i go and i create another sketch they pop back up now another thing that people like or don't like is this snap feature you can turn the snap feature on and off just by that click of the button. Now, you see how it's snapping to specific points? It's snapping at the halfway point where it's snapping at the intersection of the grid line. That's another thing that you guys can manipulate. Again, if we come up here to our tools and come into document settings, in the sketch tab, we can go ahead and we can increase the number of snaps that occur. So now, come back to my sketch, grab my line tool again. So now instead of just having the two snaps per major, now we have four. So that means that if I have a four millimeter grid line here, every little snap is going to be a millimeter. Okay. So if you were working in standard and you had your grid line set for inches, then you would see with four spacing, every snap would be a quarter inch. So hopefully this helps you understand how to customize and how to use your grid spacing. By the end of this whole process, I'm hoping that you will not need those grid lines. However, if you are just freehanding something with your line tool and you were just making a sketch of some random shape, let's go ahead and just make one of those. on that side right yep so if i just go ahead and start clicking a random shape this grid line might help you out but if you are just using primitive shapes and you are then extruding and manipulating with those then you should not need the grid lines so if it helps you take care